Right then guys, the weather's on the turn a little bit, it's getting cooler, things are starting to uh, not mature on the bushes, so I have harvested the garden huckleberries, or some of them anyway. So we're going to do another plot to plates recipe, which is, um, well, garden huckleberry pie, and I think you'll be very surprised at the cooking method. Right, just to set the scene for the plot to plate recipe for this pie, uh, many moons ago Willie Coleman over in Canada sent me a pack of garden huckleberry seeds. Planted them, nurtured them, potted them on, put them out on the new plot at Leaf and Ground, and they grew, and they grew into some weird shapes I tell you. But they fruited and very pro prolific too. So uh, I picked a few over the last couple of days. They do keep well in the fridge, so up to two or three weeks I believe. So if you uh, have an erratic harvest, you can pick a few here and there. A uh, quick word of warning, all you need are the black, jet black berries. Don't pick the purple ones, don't, sorry, don't use the purple ones, don't use the green ones. If they're a dull black colour, even better. <laughs> right, quick run through the ingredients. All right, four cups of garden huckleberries, quarter cup of baking soda, uh, water to cook with and uh, wash with, etc, etc. Quarter cup of lemon juice. I'm not going to squeeze my own, so I've got a bottle of it there. One and a half cups of sugar. Granulated castor will do, doesn't matter. A uh, bit of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. and going to grate my own half a teaspoon of salt that's in there as well. Um, butter for dotting the pie with. And I'm not going to make my own pastry, so I'm using ready roll short crust. Okay, so they uh, they cleaned up very well, actually. Very little debris on them. If you the odd leaf that you miss, you know. So that's four cups. Put that out of the way. And um, what we want now is just enough water to cover them. Just nearly cover them. We don't want to totally cover them. That should do it, I reckon. And start heating. Right, they're boiling. Turn that a little bit. This is the weird bit. Look at this. Okay. Let's find something to get some juice. Look at the colour of that lovely indigo blue, I suppose you'd call it. Look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, we're going to ruin all that. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, look at that. Can you see it? What we're going to do is put in a quarter of a cup of baking soda. A little bit at a time, and here's the quarter cup of baking soda, a little bit at a time. And it's going to, look at this, look, I'm going to get my spoon out of the way. It's going to foam like mad. It's almost like a Harry Potter thing going on here. Okay, that's a quarter cup. Might need a little bit more, not sure. I'm going to carry on cooking. And it will carry on foaming. It is so weird. Let's get up a little bit. Yeah, it's still foaming, that's good. And it will go, I don't know, I'd say Harry Potter again, but it will go uh, a snotty green colour. Here we are. So, I'm going to um, let that carry on, just gently simmer boiling for ooh, 10 minutes, I reckon. 10 minutes, turn it a little bit, a bit hot. That's about three minutes in now, and every time you stir it, it goes mad. Let's have a quick look at the colour of the liquid again. Oh, there we are. Totally changed now. Look, thick green colour. Emerald green, I'd say that was. Yeah, it's all chemistry experiments at school, this. <laughs> Six minutes in, pretty unappetising at the moment, guys. <laughs> uh, 
This is weird. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. <laughs> Not the most edible thing in the world at the moment. So we're gonna do, we're gonna drain it, strain it, and uh, bring it back. Okay, back again. Here's the liquid that come out. Well, dark green, I don't know what you can use that for. It smells absolutely revolting. But I'll leave it a minute, because, Here's the berries, and they look just as revolting, to tell you the truth. So back in with them. About a third of a cup of water. A bit more, perhaps. What we need there, then? About a quarter cup of lemon juice. <clears throat> as I said, I'm not making me either. And all being well, they should, like, change colour again. And here we are then, going back to a purple colour. <laughs> Secondary school science there. Right, so we're going to leave that um, about 30-35 oh, no, minutes or do. And then start adding the rest of the ingredients. That's windy again. What is it? Right, to be honest, like a nice royal purple colour again now, look. Not quite as much in there as I thought there'd be, so maybe only enough for one pie today. But I've got to put the sugar in yet, so that might bulk it up a little bit. Everything's gone, everything's gone purple. <laughs> Let's put that out of the way. Let's get everything else in right. About half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm going to use fresh because I've got some fresh ones. If the wind stops blowing, it'd be even better. <laughs> Me out. Never seen that before inside there, all funny patterns. Right, that's that one. Half a teaspoon of salt. One and a half cups of sugar, granulated this time. It's about three quarters. That's about three quarters as well, so. One pie filling. Better. A bit of volume there now. Okay, a little knob of butter just to loosen things up in the pie. Not too much. And corn flour. There it is. Start with one tablespoon. Let's we'll see if we get one. It's a bit runny. So 
so I'm using a slotted spoon just to get some of the excess moisture out really. Coming lots of butter on top as you always do with a pie. Makes it more decadent. It is hard doing this so that you can see what I'm doing. It might look like I'm making a pig's ear of it, but it's back to front of me. <laughs> okay then, so a little bit of crimp. Put a brush with water. I'll do a couple of holes and <laughs> see you in about half an hour. No, oh, 40 odd minutes, I think. 40 minutes. Well, there we are then. <laughs> One garden huckleberry individual pie. Should have been bigger, I think, but um, anyway, it's been in the oven 40 odd minutes. It's been cooling down for 10 minutes. Let's give it a go, eh? Oh, look at that. A bit runny, a little bit runny. But the proof is in the tasting, as they say. Now that, I can't describe it. It's, it's like... It's like nothing I've ever, I've ever tasted before. I can't, I can't really put me uh, put my finger on it. Really, it's sweet. It's a little bit, a little bit blueberry. It's quite perfumey, actually. Hang on. Hmm. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, guys. That's a double thumbs up from me. That would be lovely with a, a squirt of cream or a bit of custard. Yeah, I'd love it. Yeah. And many, many thanks to Willie for um, sending me the seeds. <laughs> Without you, mate, it would never happen. Okay then, half an hour later, the pie's cooled down and the filling has set perfectly. So maybe I was a bit, <laughs> a bit previous cutting it open. I still can't place the taste, the flavour. It's got some, um, it's herbal, it's flowery herbal, it's got lavender and <laughs> I'll tell you what, I can't place it. But it is very, very nice and I will certainly be growing it and cooking it again.